collected 135 set two cards to unlock 99 Big Poppy. Now, it's actually really fitting that I've unlocked this card today because Big Poppy is one of the cover athletes in the new Super Mega Baseball 4 coming out on June 2nd. And today I got to announce that I'm actually a playable character in Super Mega Baseball 4. I'm gonna have my own team in the game. You'll learn more about that soon, but I thought the timing with me getting Big Poppy was perfect. But let's get back to Big Poppy and MLB The Show. This dude is usually one of my favorite first basemen to use in the game. This card looks really, really solid. And he also has one of my favorite card arts in the game. And of course, I love that he has his alter ego. Big Poppy is his actual name. So we have Big Poppy over at first base today. Also, I had to give Kyle Seeger another game with what he did on the video on Saturday. I had to put him and Corey on the same team. And also, my bullpen has been completely revamped. Three new 99 overall righties, Rich Gossage, Kenley Jansen, and Mariano, and I did pick up the new 99 Araldus Chapman. The bullpen got so much better basically overnight. We're getting into a game with Big Poppy, but remember, if you're going to any baseball games, use code Coogs on SeatGeek to save $20 off those tickets. And check out Underdog Fantasy for daily fantasy sports. I'm usually sharing my pick entries over on Twitter. If you sign up, use code Coogs they'll match your first deposit up to $100. We're going to be the home team taking on Walter Johnson. I love it. I want Big Poppy to hit some nukes at Bayfront 3.0. Okay. I had him to two strikes and just hung a circle change. Very solid. Got Chipper to two strikes. I'm going to go to a sinker high and away. Ooh, that's nasty, Lance. I'm honestly surprised that this guy hasn't tried to run with Trey Turner, and there it is. Almost hit him in the head, and I can't throw him out. I knew he was going to run at some point. I should have been more patient and just thrown a pickoff over to first base. He got, like, a two-step lead. Oh! What? I didn't think there was a chance I'm making that play. Why couldn't I have done that in Angel in the outfield? Here we go. Big Poppy's first A-B. And Big Poppy is going no doubter to right field. 378 feet on the first pitch he sees. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> That's how Bayfront 3.0 is, man. It plays kind of shallow. The ball carries to the corners. But if you hit it to center, you better hit it well. Like that, Corey Seager. Did he hit it well enough? Corey Seager actually got out? That feels like the first time ever. But down in the comments, let me know, who are you using at first base? And are you planning on using Big Poppy when you do end up unlocking him, if you're even planning on unlocking him? Or are you gonna roll with a guy like Frank Thomas over at first base? Are you using Babe Ruth? Are you using somebody from season one? Let me know down in the comments. I swing. Yeah, 135 cards for Big Poppy. Uh, two thirds of those came from Team Affinity because you get 90 cards from there. The others came from Tops Now, uh, the non sellable packs from the XP Reward Path. Nice play, Mickey. Of course, the Kaiju program. I'm pretty close to finishing like all of the offline grinds that are available in season two right now. So that's how I got up to Big Poppy. And I think we're getting an incognito program on Thursday as well as more Tops Nows. So I should be able to pick up my first boss choice pack probably by the end of the week. So get ready to see some Hammer and Hank soon as well. Here he is, Kyle Seeger with his 5,000 OPS. This dude had one of the best debuts ever, and he wasn't even like a featured player in the video. 3-2, he's got to go in the zone. Get over his head. Ah, I swung at ball four too. There goes Kyle Seeger's perfect average. I just want to get Big Poppy back to the plate. I want a one, two, three inning from Lance McCullers, get a couple base runners going in the bottom of the third and let Big Poppy come up and swing it. Oh yeah, got him swinging out of the zone. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I have Fernando Tatis Jr. as my DH and Chipper at shortstop. I should have swapped those positions. Still got the job done that inning. Eight, nine, and one. Big Poppy would be due up fourth. Let's get some guys on. Mike Trout, oh, or just tie the game yourself. Big time, 411 foot blast right center field. There we go, now we're guaranteeing Big Poppy and AB in the third. Mickey Mantle, Mickey Mantle, am I finally figuring it out with him? 446 feet, that's probably the best swing I've put up with this card the entire time I've had him. All right, Big Poppy, let's do it again. 
Oh, you are playing with fire with that pitch. Uh, I think I'm like a tad bit late. Oh my God. Yeah, the timing was there. It was just a tad bit late. I had to pull that more. Tough AB against Eric Davis. He is taking a lot of pitches. All right, three, two, circle change outside. Recover Lance, come on. Oh, nobody's on the bag anyway. Okay, I may need to either start pitching around Murakami or just not pitch to him at all. He is crushing the ball with this card. There we go. That's what we need. I need him to start swinging at more pitches off the plate. Oh, what is that? That's a great curveball under the zone on two strikes, and he gets a hit out of it. What? And the cutter low and away catch the corner? Okay, well, we got the out. But man, I got some work to do, and I got to stop pitching to Murakami. Luckily, I have both Seegers coming up this inning. And we're already getting a knock. No. How am I missing that curveball? Kyle, what do you have for me, dude? Nothing. I'm swinging at bad pitches with him. Honestly, I'm going to have to start warming up this bullpen because he's on this third time through the order. He's in the lead. He's already put up six hits off Lance McCullers Jr. Almost seven. Even though it's been Murakami that's done the damage, he's put up competitive at-bats with basically every single player. So I don't love the situation I'm finding myself in. Yeah, Big Poppy's not getting that. Oh, Dude, come on. How do you lay off that? All right, well, I'm, I'm going to take out Lance. I'm done with him. I'm going to go to Chapman. First time I'm going to use him. Nice pitch. Eric Davis is not going to be an easy out regardless of what lefty's on the mound. Or maybe he is. Okay, that's a big jam to escape. Okay, I do have to face Murakami, but this time I do have a lefty. And we got him out. That's the key. Oh, yeah, he is really lost against Chapman. This is my chance to get back in this game. And he's late. That's a three-pitch inning. He is giving me the biggest chance to score right here. That's a perfect pitch. I still should put up a better swing. Come on, David Ortiz. I need to call on you again. I mean, that's that's a pretty good swing. What was the exit velo? That's only hit 95 with Big Poppy? That seems a little weird to me. I don't know. And then I'm going to line out again. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice. This is good. I, he just can't hit Chapman. But on the flip side, I can't hit Walter Johnson. Maybe he can hit Chapman. Okay, okay, we got one back. Corey Seager delivers. Like I said, the ball is gonna fly to left and right field. We gotta hit it there. Come on, man, only down one. Yes! Mike Napoli crushing it to left field. Perfect, perfect on 102. 444 feet, we got a tie ball game. I'm still swinging at bad pitches with Kyle Seeger, but I got a hit. Is that the end of the day for Walter? It is. I got to go against Shohei now. Ooh. Yep, definitely thought that was a four seam. And that's a double play. <laughs> hey, we got a good one going into the final two frames. I'm going to finally get to use 99 Rich Gossage. Murakami is up this inning, though. I am not giving him a strike. If you want to swing at something, fine, but it's not going to be in the strike zone. 3-2, I don't care. I'm not throwing him a strike. And we got him. Oh, that's a huge K. I'm just going to try to overpower him with a four seam. And it worked. One, two, three inning for Gossage. And we have a chance to get the lead. Big Poppy's due up third. Mickey Mantle is heating up. Fernando Tatis Jr. All the way out of here. Mike Napoli's was 444. We are looking at 448. Finally, Fernando did something at the leadoff spot. I think Poppy put an exclamation point on this one, dude. Or not. Hit the ball 105, though. He hit that harder than he hit that uh, fly out to center field. Oh, Chipper went down to get it. Does it have enough? It's so deep out there to right center field. Ah! 
He brought in a lefty for Corey Seager. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Oh, but I might be out at second base. <laughs> See if Gossage can get through this. Oh, Mickey Mantle is not getting that. Okay. And just like that, the tying runs at the plate. Dot. Constant 101, 102 fastballs. You mix in that changeup. That thing is dirty. We are not done yet, though. Chipper hit a home run earlier in this game. She gotta make the play. Let's go. That was a hard fought win, dude. We went down a couple times in that game, but the offense battled back in the late innings. Four runs after the sixth inning was the difference. Of course, Corey Seager takes home player of the game, but Mickey Mantle is starting to get hot. We hit a bomb with Big Poppy in his debut. I'm feeling good about where my God Squad is right now. <laughs>